Club. Now I gotta remove the discharge cable. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the BMS here. Basically, gotta just remove this connection over here. I'm connecting the negative battery cable, and I'm also extending the length of this negative because it was a little short for how far I need to go back to the battery connection. So you got negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that's where you get your thirteen S. Now I'm hooking up all the negative wires to position zero on the battery. Uh, there's two for the BMS. One's uh, one of the balance cables, and then the other is the actual uh, negative wire that delivers all the power to uh, whatever you have it delivering out of the battery from. And then the other one is for the knee charger. Now I'm hooking all the wires up for position one on the battery. This is basically back when I was counting through. So this would be the position one. So this has the two wires from the harness that would be next to the negative. And pretty much you proceed to go through no matter what uh, series battery you have here to go to each position, number two, number three, uh, counting up the harnesses. Okay, before I hook up the BMS and connect the negative wire to it, I need to check the harnesses and make sure everything's in the right order. To do that, it's pretty simple. You need, first, you need a multimeter. And then you start out with this first pin here. You put the negative on. And then the second pin, you put the positive on. You'll get a reading between like three and five. And then if you go to the next one, you'll get a higher number. And so on and so on. The numbers will keep going up. For some reason, the number goes down to the next one. It's in the wrong order, and basically the harness needs to be rewired before you ever try to hook it up. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we got the first one here. We got three, we got seven, we got 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, 31, 
35, 39, 43, 47, and 51.2, giving it the full charge. And pretty much, I'll just do that same test to this harness here, which is the same procedure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to isolate some of the BMS wires, like uh, kind of like they had them. So something like that, and then the negatives goes back to here, just like so. I mean, I need to solder her on right to there real quick. Just like so. Let's make sure my just gonna plug in the BMS here. Hopefully no sparks or anything, right? That's always the idea. Uh. All right. So that's a little temperature probe here, which I'm just gonna run across the all the leads right underneath it here. So if any good things gets over toasty on the wires there, kind of like a obviously what was happening with the previous BMS. It'll uh, try to attempt to shut it off. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to tape that. Of course, move all metal objects uh, anywhere away from the battery so it's not gonna short out while I do this. So I'll tape here. Just a giant void now. Hmm. It grew slightly in size here, but that's not a big deal. Uh, my wrap is a little bit bigger, anyways. And I think that's just due to the uh, extra bulk of wires and everything in there, but it should all be fine. Uh, about an inch over each side. So, it's more of a no. Oh, almost forgot before I uh, go ahead and wrap it up. Definitely want to do some more tests. Just. Just to be sure, it'd suck to have to unwrap something to fix anything. First of all, I'm gonna use my voltmeter and just make sure it's uh, outputting power. Yay, 51.6 and going up, okay. So that is good. All right, next I'm gonna wanna test out, make sure I got the knee wire hooked up right. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the knee in. And give it power. Should hear a race car start. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the knee app and go to the sidebar scan and connector. All right, and that was doing a pretty good job of balancing in itself right there. I just definitely wanted the solar charging ability for it to be able to going in and out of the same port here. Yeah, this is still a good BMS. There is nothing wrong with this whatsoever right here. Uh, it's a little bulky, but other than that, it's good BMS. So it looks like, yeah, everything is working out good here. Um, it's fairly in balance. Uh, it's 0 0.011 hundredths off, so not bad. Uh, let's see all the tests. All the tests are successful, so. Yep, yeah, she's good. This is nominal. So, uh, yep, yeah, now I'm going to wrap her back up. Nice. And that's how you build a solar battery. 
So we got a common charge discharge and I got my testing port uh, for my active balancer. Active charger could also be plugged into there if you had the right adapter for it, uh, the plug-in. So yeah, basically gives you access to each one of the cell groups without having to cut the wrapper off each time, which gets kind of annoying. Have the greatest day of your life.